Hello, Guru Nation. Welcome back to uh, the Clinical Trials Guru. We've got Raul. We've got Monica, both from the CRC Academy as well as me. We're involved in the CRC Academy. We're very excited about that. We got something special to announce at the end. Very special. Make sure you stay tuned to the whole thing. It won't be that long, but stay tuned. Or if you want, skip all this and go to the end. You'll hear that part. So. I want to get a state of the industry update first from Monica. So Monica's in charge of getting studies for a lot of our clinics. Um, what's been going on, Monica, as far as the studies are concerned? What What are you seeing? What are you noticing uh, as far as feasibility surveys? What kind of studies? Okay, and like those kind of things. So what do, what have you been seeing in the trenches? Okay, so I honestly, I have not been seeing much changes like in, in the, I mean, when you're approaching the uh, CROs or the sponsors about the new studies. Uh, in fact, actually, if anything, I will say that they are being more uh, responsive because everybody I think is kind of do, concentrating in that area. Uh, just because um, a lot of the studies that uh, we're planning to be done uh, right now are moved to the, let's say, to June, July. And uh, and then on top of that, they will have more studies uh, uh, by that time, right? So uh, what happened? I've been seeing like some of these uh, uh, CRAs or or this uh, people that I have been in contact with, they give me one study, one feasibility, and then tell me, hey, I'm going to add you to this future study. Would you be interested? So I'm just like, <laughs> oh, yes, I, <laughs> we are. So I've been seeing that with different studies. And, uh, and as of kind of uh, therapeutic areas, I have been seeing pretty much everything, uh, uh, like GI studies, mental health, um uh, also uh, studies like nash diabetes uh, a lot of uh, skin uh, for skin conditions dermatology studies endocrinology studies um i think that's pretty much and, and i have seen, sorry and i have seen a lot of uh, pediatric studies too like more than before Mm -hmm. And when are the when are these studies? Are they telling you when they're planning to start? Because I saw one yesterday with a sponsor for schizophrenia. I think it was from you actually. Um, that they're saying uh, August September they're gonna they want to start. So what are you seeing? Yeah, yeah. Th that's the that's what I've been hearing too. Like uh, in between July, August, September, and then also. But they've been scheduling the the, the site selection visits. Uh, Obviously, this is being done more uh, uh, mostly <laughs> over the phone, um, and um, and then the rest of the studies. I mean, I mean, the start up will be, um, I believe, in that in those uh, months. Okay, and then we just had a Skype group chat, which everybody need. If you want to join this group chat, we're literally doing this every day on a video conference just like this. It uh, supports up to 50 people at a time, which is chaos. Um, so get in <laughs> early. If you want to do it, it's every weekday from 2 to 3 Pacific time. Message me on Instagram or LinkedIn. I give you the link, and then you join us every Tuesday. In the, in the session today, in the call today, we, had, we were talking about job opportunities in research. So not only are there a lot of studies right now in startup mode, but there's a lot of hiring, there's a lot of interviewing going on right now. Maybe not necessarily hiring, but interviewing about to get started with hiring once we're out of this, you know, lockdown, quarantine, whatever you want to call it. So uh, it, that's good news for job markets. Another interesting thing was that there's a lot of transition. So a lot of CRAs, you know, when it's time to go back to work, maybe they're like afraid to now go on airplanes so maybe they're 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 refusing some of their work like contract series or they're jumping to another company and now that opens up more opportunities there's a lot of transitions there's a lot of movement right now so that means opportunities for people not in the industry yet that want to get in like our CRC Academy okay graduates which Raul you're our chief 
networking officer with the students so you're you're in charge of outreach to potential students what are the questions that they're asking you right now are they you know I, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people uh, worried about their job prospects what what kind of questions are you getting yes uh, well first of all uh, hello to everyone and hope everybody keeping safe especially uh, people are in the tough areas so well, my blessing everybody be safe now, um, I've been blessed to communicate with all the prospects or candidates that are looking to do a job transition. In this case, with the CRC, uh, we get a lot of requests, and especially how the program works. Um, something that I learned from you, Dan, uh, in a few videos, is that I believe people or students that want to do a transition, they have high expectations that they're going to get a job right away. It's very interesting that you mentioned that right now, because the pandemic might slow down many industries, this is a perfect time to invest your time in learning something new. Uh, the best advantage of the CRC is remote, as we have explained previously. Uh, you have easy access online every Friday or every Thursday, depending on which group you're going to be uh, put in. And that's the best time, especially now. That is basically a timeout for everyone. Why not join the CRC Academy? Now, taking advantage of this time is what you're saying. Now, a lot of sponsors, a lot of open uh, careers in the in the industry are going to be available soon. So why not spend these three months investing your time learning? And like you said, everybody is responsible for their own success. So yeah, well, we can ensure or ensure here in the CRC Academy is that you're going to get that top of the line education and you're going to be strong in your interviews, know what they're talking about and obviously practice make make you master. So that's my best advice. But questions is all over the place. How long it will take? What's the cause? And things like that. They like to do a lot of comparisons that I, I don't judge. I think everybody will do that. But at the end, I think your background, Monica's background, uh, the combining years of experience in the industry, and something I like to mention, networking. You guys have a huge networking that is not in the program, but hey, can be applied at the look, end. Look what we're doing now during quarantine. Every two before, you know, we're doing every day, literally a quarantine meetup for an hour right. for the rest of the quarantine. So this is our network. We have we talk to people from New York, Canada everywhere like all over are on this call so we're expanding our network texas i mean we have people we have connections monica has been able to actually place some students which oh, we don't really? gar we don't guarantee but she has been able to even as far as australia we have students so i like the fact that our academy and our cra academy too but right now we're talking about crc because we got a special announcement for crc uh we're just all about the network. Like you're part of the family when you join. It's not just the three months and then you're done. I talked to somebody today on the Skype call that was from our class CRA Academy two years ago. You know, so you know she's working. She's in the industry CRA. So this is good stuff, guys. What is the special announcement? No, who no. wants to share? Who wants to okay, share this I'm special gonna, announcement? I'm gonna do the first part, but. I want <laughs> our instructor Monica give us uh, the drums okay. over there to make the announcements. So, uh, based what we've been talking on in this uh, video about uh, the opportunity that is going on now, invest your time, and also something that CRC want to give back to everyone that is in full duty in this pandemic. Uh, we're gonna do. We're going to give something back. So, Monica, now it's your turn. Do the next. <laughs> okay, so we want to be giving to the community of healthcare, uh, the healthcare practitioners, the healthcare industry. Uh, are you guys ready? <laughs> mm. So, we're going to be giving 50% discount for anybody that works in the healthcare industry that want to join our CRC Academy. Uh, this is a way for us to give back to you and to say thank you for, uh, I mean, for being working so hard uh, right now that the, <laughs> the world is passing through this uh, difficult moment. So 
here it is 50% off like half of the uh, uh, situation uh, yeah, half, half off for any healthcare worker. This is very good. You guys are all, everybody who work. I think one of the best things that come out of this pandemic will be the respect we have, not just for doctors, because we always have respect for doctors, but even nurses, medical assistants, you know, people just working in the hospital. Uh, so, you know, this is good for us to give back. It was your guys' idea to do this. I think it's fantastic. Um, and uh, yeah, it's open to any healthcare worker. Uh, and let's clarify that this um, intuition discount that we're gonna provide is for May enrollment. So keep that in mind, okay. May enrollment. So just contact Monica, myself, or Dan. We're gonna put our information so we can get you in and say thank you. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you, Raul. Thank you, Monica, for awesome. this. And thank you, everybody, for watching. And hopefully, you get to join our CRC Academy. Let's get it, guys. Let's get these jobs. The economy is going to be rebounding like never before. So thank you both. And uh, let's talk to you all later, okay? Yeah, uh, so I'm going to give my phone number just in case okay. somebody wants to text or something and ask me about it. So it's 714-561-6366. Once again, seven one four five six one six three six six. Thank you, and see you guys soon.